Hey everybody, Josh here for Android Central and I wanted to show you guys the BlueStacks app player for Windows. Uh, not too long ago we reported that it came out of Alpha, it had been in Alpha for quite some time and finally moved into Beta 1 and what was significant about Beta 1 is that it lets you run all sorts of different Android apps instead of the limited selection that it could uh, run when it was in Alpha. And so, you know, I've already got BlueStacks pulled up, this is a Windows only client, uh, thought I'd make that clear right now. And uh, you'll see that it comes preloaded with a number of apps, uh, some different app markets, Angry Birds Space, uh, Amazon App Store, Barnes & Noble Nook stuff, and then some pretty simple things, Clouds and Sheep Defender. Um, up here at the top, you've got a kind of a dock. You can show you your apps, popular downloads, different app stores, and Cloud Connect. Cloud Connect is how you sync uh, to your phone. You'll notice I'm doing all this with uh, a mouse right now. You can tap it, it registers just like you're using touch. Uh, what you can do is you can uh, sync up your phone with this and then using the BlueStacks Cloud Connect app for Android, you can actually send APKs to your computer wirelessly. Uh, but we'll go back out of this. Nope. Back, back, back. Thank you. Um, something else before I get into any app demonstrations that I thought was particularly cool. I've got my BlueStacks folder right here. You can actually load APK files straight off of your computer uh, and you know sideload them essentially just the way you would on your uh, Android device, phone or tablet and you'll see that the APK files actually take a little uh, BlueStacks icon and so I loaded a, a number of them. I did uh, Sonic CD, Angry Birds Space, Dead Space, Anomaly Warzone Earth, uh, Flick, Golf, and Shadow Gun because I wanted to show off some some more demanding games and just the simple stuff. Um, let's see, moving right along. Uh, if you hit something in the dock like popular downloads, you'll see you've got a very cool animation and it says, hey, these are what people are playing. Twitter, I mean, why would you need a Twitter app when you could just go to Twitter's website? Uh, for the app stores, you can actually, it gives you three. Uh, in a previous install, I sideloaded the Android market, but because the device ID is read all weird, um, it doesn't pull up a lot of apps for you to install, so really in your best interest to sideload them. And then my apps, it shows you everything that you've got installed, but I also can see that right here. So uh, just for grins, let's open up Angry Birds Space and see what happens. Now what's kind of cool, um, but also kind of disappointing I guess, is when you maximize it, it says, yo, we have to restart the app in order to run it full screen. So we'll do that real quick, you see it says restarting. Blue stacks right there. And we will wait. Cool. So now we're up. See, this is the general blue stacks loading. Um, I know that uh, for those of you who have read the press release or, or read about blue stacks at all, it says that they're using a technology called Layer Cake technology that was developed, I guess, in tandem or with the blessing of AMD. Uh, I'm currently running an AMD card in my machine right now, but I haven't read that there's any issues with NVIDIA cards. Uh, but if there are, definitely let us know in the comments because that would be something good to know. But I don't think that's the case. Uh, so, you can press Control Plus or Control Minus to zoom in and out. So let's hit Control Plus a couple times. Maybe once we get past the loading screen, that's when it takes off. Still loading. So, looks like it's taking its sweet time. There we go. So here you go, we are in Angry Birds space and you know the start screen looks like it's running nice and well. Click the play thing right at the beginning. Oh, can we skip this? Skip it. Cool. So you see here we are in it and this looks like it runs, I mean those those spheres, those orbs that are coming out of my guy, my Angry Bird, boom. Uh, I mean that was just as smooth as you know on any phone or tablet that I could have used. Uh, but again, pretty simple level. But this is oh, very nice. This is Angry Birds Space, and so it's got all these weird gravity effects and weird, you know, a little more complex than just the run of the mill Angry Birds experience. So let's see if this one loads up as quick. Beautiful, you know? So this is running stellar. So you could play Angry Birds Space totally for free on your computer, but let's try out something a little bit more uh, 
Well, let's try Sonic CD. We'll work our way up into something more difficult. Uh, yeah, let's download that game data real quick. Uh, while we wait for that game data to download, at least looking in the background, you can see that you know Metal Sonic and Sonic and the whole Sonic CD thing looks really nice, which I think is to be commended. Uh, scales really well. I'm running a 23-inch uh, Dell widescreen monitor, so it's pretty cool being able to play Sonic CD. Although you could argue I could just get an emulator, blah blah blah, but that's not the case for. Uh, Dead Space or Shadow Guns. So hopefully those work as well on the big screen. But once we're finished downloading this, actually, let's just get out because that's going to take too long. Let's go straight into Dead Space. Interested to see if the... Oh, goodness gracious me. Let's go into... Where is Shadow Gun? Shadow Gun, please. So this is the non-Tegra version. This is a version that came out in the Android, uh, well I guess now the Google Play Store for everybody who's not running a Tegra device. So this is the non-Tegra zone version. And you'll say, hey, that looks pretty good right there, but how does it control? So boom, let's do Shadow Gun. It's my new game. Yes, it's my new game. Easy, just because I'm a noob, and if the controls are wacky, then I don't want to die. Blah, blah, blah. Moving right along. Loading, loading, loading shadow gun. Loading, loading, loading. Still loading. Yeah, that go well. Ruh, Ruh. Are you there? Yeah, I am. Model destroyed. All right. Not picking anything up on your scanners yet? I still cannot initiate the second sequence. So it looks like we've got some sync issues right off the bat. Uh, audio and video not quite together. And I do recall this being a little bit smoother when played. Uh, the Tekra Zone version of my Toshiba Thrive, but let's see how the game actually plays. So for controls, yo, move your finger. So click and move is move like that. Click the little target deal. You can unleash a spray of bullets. And, oh, that's not cool at all. Let's see if the arrow keys work. All right, so arrow keys work. WASD do not. But using that and the, uh, the mouse, looks like we're doing all right. So let's see what we have to do here. Uh, let's see. There's something I'm missing. Spacebar, maybe. Enter. We gotta shoot it. Oh, okay, so click your action button. Good deal. Boom. And that comes down. So it looks like everything's going pretty smooth. Let's see what happens when we get in a firefight. Alright. Just a little seems a little a little herky jerky, but not terrible. There we go. The ammo box. There it is. So this is not too too terrible. It takes a little bit of getting used to. I would definitely say that native uh, the native touch controls work a little bit better. But what can you do? Boom! Close to the obstacle. Sorry about that, guy. All right. Moving around, and let's hop into let's see if Anomaly needs. Uh, let's do it to the phone. Does anybody know any good jokes? Hmm? Goodness, sorry about the download and sorry about the wait, guys. Uh, at least while that's going on, I can show you all the uh, the right column right here is suggested apps. There's actually a pretty impressive selection. It's giving me suggested apps like Destroy uh, Gunners, which are kind of like a mech fighting game that I've reviewed in the past. Osmos HD, which is a game that was in the original Humble Bundle that I really, really enjoyed. 
uh, Warzone Getaway Counter Strike. So for some reason, Osmos HD is on here twice. There's Destroy Gunners. Down here at the bottom, you've got a back button uh, menu. This shows the menu. And right here, this is the settings, obviously, because you don't have those capacitive keys on a phone. And then right here in the middle is the Bluestacks home button. So you can get around. Now you can also hide that dock by hitting that right there and it goes in this tiny, I guess tinier version of itself that becomes huge and zoomed and ugly. Uh, and then you click on it and lo and behold it pops back up. So we'll hide that. And we are not even 50% done yet. Skip it. Let's go home. Let's go home. Uh, let's try Fruit Ninja just to show off something else. Shadow Gun is a pretty good representation, I think, of a higher graphical demand game. Uh, as you can see, it ran pretty well. And so if it runs well, I assume that Anomaly would run well. Sonic would totally run well. Um, no, thank you. Good. Oh, no thanks. And let's see. So click and hold is like your finger. Boom. This is pretty cool. I mean, sure, it's no Fruit Ninja Connect or it's no Fruit Ninja Super Deluxe like they have at Dave and Buster's, but uh, but hey, man, it's Fruit Ninja and it's on your computer. And in terms of you know, easy to play games, especially with a mouse, this is definitely one of them. Rot row. As I say, it's easy to play. I drop a fruit. Anyways, guys, that is the, uh, the Bluestacks app player for Windows Beta 1. I wanted to show that off because I know that there's been some, some really cool news about it, and I thought that a proper video uh, would really do it justice. So let me close out of that. You see, this is your app, shortcuts to all of your apps so you can see. So if for some reason something's not showing up, you can see that you've got all of these installed. But thanks for watching, y'all. Again, that was uh, the Bluestacks app player for Windows Beta 1. Uh, you can't download that from the Google Play Store. You can download its Cloud Sync. Um, and if you want to download the player for Windows, you just need to go to bluestacks.com.